Warning, what you are about to see here may not be legal where you live. Check your local laws to make sure that cracking encryption software is actually legal. It probably isn't. And if you do decide to do this, you're doing it at your own risk. We at 3D Musketeers do not condone what we are about to show you. But we believe that you, as someone in the resin 3D printing industry, have the right to know and have the right to make your own decisions. You all are adults, generally speaking, and you all know resin is toxic. And because of that, I have faith that you can make the right decision when you decide if liberating Mars is right for you. Let's talk about it. I know, I know, he had to start it with a disclaimer. Look, all right, this is pretty gray. Like, I can tell you that this stuff works, but I am not going to show you it working. It's just like in Breaking Bad, how they actually go through a fair bit of the process on how to uh, do the things they do in Breaking Bad, but they leave just a few key things out. Yes, science! We are going to do the same thing here. I am not here to show you how to break the law. I'm here to inform you and let you make the decision if you want to put two and two together. We are going to be talking about Liberating Mars. Liberating Mars is the product of two gentlemen that never met each other, that had the same idea, the same theory, and the same execution. And so much so that they came up with this solution within hours of each other. These were two gentlemen that were frustrated that Chitu Box is locking you down, making you unable to utilize resin 3D printers with other software like Lychee Slicer, Prusa Slicer, or others. They've got a problem with that. And no, this is not about middle fingers to Chi2 Box. We've talked about that in the past. We'll card to the playlist so you guys can go take a look at that. Because if you don't know the drama that's going on with Chi2 Box and the Chi2 boards, I do recommend you pause this video, you go watch those, and then you come back. Because I think you'll be a little bit more educated and hopefully understand it a bit better. But if you have questions, leave them in those comments down below. And while you're down there, just tickle that like button. Just absolutely hit the subscribe button like it owes you money because it helps our channel grow. And helping our channel grow means you get to see this adorable cat more often. I mean, honestly, could any one thing be more tired? We want to make sure that we go about this from a way of not only being cautious, but being excited because I am cautiously excited. Wow, Grant, it's like you can put two words together and make one word sentence thing. Look, I have two business degrees. English is not in there. All right. I just make it happen for you all. Let's talk about Liberating Mars though. This is Liberating Mars. It is available for free, open source, might I add, on GitHub. Now, before we get too deep into this, you must have some basic understanding of programming. And I'm not talking like all command prompt hackery stuff. Hide the planet! But you must understand how to do basic writing for code. You need to do one line of code to actually make this entire thing work. And it happens inside of the command line system, inside of Lychee Slicer, Prusa Slicer, or any other slicer that you choose to use for your resin 3D printing. It has been confirmed to work in most of them that I asked about. And the ones that I asked about, they didn't have an answer for. I know they are going into validation. And yes, I definitely haven't been talking to the two gentlemen that actually made this because I want to show off the work that they did because I think it's absolutely brilliant. But I did promise to make sure that we don't uh, cause any harm to them. Well, as much as possible, at least. We're not going to give any names. We're not going to tell you where to find them. You do that for yourself. I'm not here to do that. But again, look, this is very gray at best. So be careful. If you are a company, do not do this. Just don't do it. Because especially if you're utilizing the Cheat 2 Box SDK, this is in gross violation of the Cheat 2 Box SDK, but I talked about it in the Cheat 2 Box SDK video. I'm pretty certain their own SDK should violate their own SDK license, but 
that's neither here nor there. We're going to talk about it inside of Lychee because it is actually the easiest to be done inside of Lychee. And it was designed for Lychee Slicer because when you look at the slicers for resin 3D printing out there right now, Lychee Slicer is the biggest competitor for Cheetubox version 1.9. And look, hey, I got it open on my computer without it crashing. Isn't that great? I know I'm so proud of myself, but you can bet I am not going further than this splash screen. But if you do see here that to utilize all the features of Chichibox Basic, you must update the firmware on your machine. Choose to make whatever decision you want on that. We've had quite a few of our subscribers that have had issues. And if you do have issues with that software update, please email us. I have copies of most of the firmwares that you were going from, the older firmwares for printers that we can provide to you. The manufacturers have asked us not to share them publicly which I guess makes sense, but I believe Elegoo is putting all of theirs on their website. So if you need it, you can go ahead and download it. Just be careful if you are going to update software. Before we get too deep into this though, I wanna talk about why this exists and why you should or should not care. This system exists because of what Cheetubox has done. For those that don't know, Cheetubox recently released Cheetubox Pro and in doing so, they encrypted their brand new file format, the CTBV4 file format. What this means is that any printers with the latest Chi2 boards, that's the Elegoo Mars 3, the brand new Elegoo Jupiter, which recently launched on Kickstarter earlier today, Frozen Sonic Mega 8K, and quite a few other printers that are coming out that utilize these Chi2 boards. Most of these printers will come with a one-year free license to Cheetubox Pro, and we talked about it in the other Cheetubox videos, where if you're buying like a Mars 3 for 300 bucks and it comes with a $169 a year software, one year for free, if you do like Cheetubox Pro, just buy another Mars 3. If you have not found a way to pay off that Mars 3 in the year that you've owned it, then you're probably not ready to pay the 169 for Cheetubox Pro for one more year. If you're looking to continue to pay for a software every single year, you are likely using it for some sort of monetary benefit. And therefore, one, it's a tax write-off, all right? Number one. Number two, well, okay, tax write-off depending. Talk to an accountant. I'm not a financial advisor. But number two, you will see different use cases, right? The average user probably doesn't need to use anything further than Cheetubox Basic. Lychee Slicer is similar in that they have a free and pro variant. As you see in this video, we do have Lychee Slicer Pro. After our initial look at Lychee Slicer, they reached out to us to see if we would like to get a free one year license to Lychee Slicer Pro. We will be doing a comparison video as soon as they release their brand new update from Lychee Slicer Pro to Lychee Slicer Basic so you can make those decisions. So make sure you get subscribed if you wanna see it, but I wanna be as upfront as I can. We did not pay for this Pro account, which would normally be $30 for your first year and $50 every year after that. Now, I don't know about you, I would much rather support a company that is founded upon open source Lychee Slicer that has multiple people. I mean, it's like 13 or 14 people in their company. They have an incredibly active Discord where the entire team helps everyday individuals solve their problems and even releases beta firmware only in Discord. Then I would support a company like Cheetubox that when they saw Lychee and Prusa Slicer becoming such a threat, they took their ball home and built walls so fast that nobody saw it coming. Well, at least none of the manufacturers. And I do want to put some blame here on the manufacturers like Elegoo, Anycubic, Frozen, and others. They did not have to utilize the hardware from Chi2 Systems, but they did, they got comfortable with it, and they got burned. So this is not all Chi2's fault. However, the guys behind Liberating Mars have decided that you own your printer. You should be able to decide what you do with it. And with that, they released Liberating Mars. I'm going to talk about how to utilize this software. Now, I want you to understand, I am going to gloss over some very, very important steps here. If you want to know how to do it, figure it out on your own. Similar to how in Breaking Bad, when they were cooking 
the blue stuff, they showed a fair bit of that formula, but they left out some very key points. I am the one who knocks. We're going to have to do the same thing to make sure that we stay legally okay. This is a very light bit of code. What you need to do is you need to go to the code and you need to download it. That's your first step. Go ahead and extract the files and open up Lychee Slicer. From there, you're going to want to get the EXE for Liberating Mars and the EXE for Cheetubox 1.9 and put them in the same folder. I don't care what folder that is, just make sure you know where it is located. Inside of Lychee Slicer, you will go to your preferences, you will click External Tools and the User Command Line. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to put here. You figure that one out on your own if you are so inclined to do so. We can't direct you exactly how to do it. That's it. You set your printer to CTB v2, and once Liberating Mars takes over, it will then export an encrypted CTB v4 that your Chiju board will say, cool, thanks dog. Thanks cat. Let's get to work. Speaking of let's getting to work, Let's get to work petting this cat while I tell you about our sponsor, 3D Musketeers. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, our sponsor is 3D Musketeers, and the sooner that I get this ad read done, the sooner she stops biting my hand. That, as always, God, that's painful, okay. <laughs> that's right, ladies and gentlemen, 3D Musketeers is sponsoring this video just like all the other ones. If you want to help support our videos, we now have a Patreon, it's totally live, and yes, we can get your name at the end of the video. And if you're lucky, maybe we'll even pet the cat. There she goes. While saying your name. And I know that's a little bit weird, but it is a promise in one of the tiers, so is what it is. But if you want to make awesome from art to part, and if you want to come hang out with the team, myself, and everybody at 3DM, if you want to check out some of the team. We did a one year podcast, we'll card to that. It was a lot of fun. Whether we're playing video games, maybe come hang out on a podcast, or even just be able to support us in making these videos where we kind of tease the legally gray area. The links for all that will be down in the description, patreon.com slash 3D Musketeers or 3D Musketeers.com. Appreciate you guys helping us out. And hey, while you're down there, lightly tap that like button, just hit that subscribe button like it owes you money. Leave a comment should be fun. Now do understand that I am unable to validate whether or not this software works, but I have independent validation from the two people that made Liberating Mars that it works perfectly fine, as well as quite a few people from the community that yes, this works great. If you own one of the printers that is locked into Cheetubox and you are tired of it, why don't you get yourself a nice fat copy of Liberating Mars and feel the power of freedom? Well, freedom for software, at least. We here at 3D Musketeer support people's ability to make their own choices. If you want to get one of these massive printers like the Elegoo Jupiter, or the Frozen Sonic Mega 8K, and you don't want to be locked in a Chi2 box, this is right now, as of recording this video, your only option. Once this video goes live, it will have been two weeks since we did our video on the Chi2 Box SDK license agreement, and nothing has come to fruition from anybody in the industry trying to have talks with Chi2 Box. From the murmurs and whispers that we hear, they're not going great because Chi2 is holding their ground pretty heavily and not really willing to try to communicate in a way that helps the entire industry. And like I said before, it's not Lychee's fault. It's actually a lot of Elegoo, Anycubic, Frozen, and the others' faults because they adopted this hardware that now requires this software. And yes, the Atlas 3D guys are working on the Athena board, and if everything goes well, they're coming on our podcast this Saturday, September 18th. So if you want to ask them any questions about the Athena board, please make sure that you show up. It normally happens around 1 p.m. Eastern, but we'll have a announcement on our YouTube channel when we know when that time is going to occur. But I also want you guys to make sure that you recognize the risk involved in this. If you are a company that is using the software for profit, you are paying for Chi2 Box Pro and it works for you, right now it is probably best to leave it alone. 
If you are a maker that has one or two printers that just really doesn't like this, you might want to give it a shot. But understand, this could be illegal where you are, and it absolutely does violate the Chi2 Box license agreement. So do this at your own risk. If we had some printers here, maybe we would show it to you working, but we don't, not ones at least, that utilize this brand new encryption system. But I want to know what you think down in those comments below. How do you feel about liberating Mars? I understand it's a bit of a touchy subject for all parties involved. We don't really know where this is gonna land. I know that it absolutely violates license agreements, but is Chi2 really going to go after those that choose to use it? We don't know yet. I wanna know, are you planning to use it? Don't use your real name if you are, because well, you're kind of opening yourself up for issues, but let us know if you wanna email us and tell us that's fine. What happens between us girls doesn't ever get out as far as I'm concerned. You, of course, can DM us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I don't really care. Honestly, Twitter and Instagram are probably better. We check those way more often than we check Facebook. And by the way, we're going to start a fail series where we are going to look at failures from 3D print. So if you've got some 3D print fails that you have had photos of, tweet them at us, tag us in them on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, so we can take a look. And me, the expert, the guy that's got like 13 years in this industry as a hobbyist and a professional, is going to take a look at it and talk to you. But we're going to specifically be taking a look at Reddit because some of those Reddit comments are kind of hilarious. The things that people will say is wrong with a print without even knowing really what they're looking at. I think it's gonna help, especially the newbies out there, diagnose their problems and solve them. And we're gonna start to do this every Friday. So it's gonna be a Fail Friday series. We'll have a hashtag, we'll put it on the screen so you guys can see it. Cause I haven't yet figured out exactly what I want the hashtag to be. But don't worry, we will have it. I hope to see you guys in the next video. I think we're gonna be reviewing a $50 3D printer. And uh, yeah, I'm expecting that to be an absolute disaster dumpster fire of a machine. So if you like disaster and dumpster fire machines like I do, and you realize that we're going to take that disaster of a 3D printer and turn it into a venerable monster with the help of way too much money, definitely nowhere near enough time, and the desire to just make something stupid way cooler, make sure you get subscribed. I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to call your loved ones, and as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. I'm done, and I got bit by my cat. <laughs> ah! Hey, thanks for watching this video. We just launched our Patreon. We have three patrons right now. I put their names over here, even though technically not all of them pay for that. But I think it's really cool that we have patrons now and I'm really excited. And if you want to support us directly with more than YouTube ad revenue, you can head over to our Patreon and kick us a couple of bucks. There's a tier as low as $1 and there's the Musketeer for the low, low price of $420.69. Right below me will be the entire playlist about the Chi2 Box debacle, and next to it will be the first look at Chi2 Box version 1.9. I'll see you guys down in those comments. Take care.